I'm Carolyn, this is Kona, and today Andrew is going to show you how to make this lovely phone stand. Thank you, Carolyn. For today, our activity is going to be to make a cell phone holder. The supplies that we'll be needing today is a pencil and a scrap piece of wood. Our tools that we'll need today are a saw, a tape measure or a ruler, a pencil, glue, a box cutter, a drill bit, about 5-30 seconds, and a drill. Also, because we're working with power tools and saw, we need our first aid kit, safety glasses, and a mask for any dust that may be flying around. On the next step, I will show you how to cut and measure the wood. Reverse that. I'm going to show you how to measure, then cut the wood. Okay, in our first step, we're going to measure the wood for both this piece here and for this tall piece here, as well as the little piece on the back here, which is actually going to be the stand, which will be the pencil. So, first thing we need to do is we need to measure an inch from the edge here. And we'll use our pencil here, and we're going to mark an inch there. And then this width on here is actually going to be three inches, so we can mark from that point another three inches over. And because I have a right angled measurement here, I can go ahead and draw a straight line there, and a straight line there. And it doesn't have to be accurate because it's just a fun little project here. Next, we're going to measure for the, the back piece, the stand, and that is just a little bit over two inches. So, line it up there, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and mark just a little bit over two inches. And then, after that, we are going to get it ready to be cut. So, that will be our next step. All right, step two here, we're gonna go ahead and cut the wood up. When I've done that, uh, we're gonna drill the back of this to put the stand for our uh, cell phone stand, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, have fun watching. Okay, moving on to step three here. We have cut the wood. Sorry, I cut the video short because it was just taking way too long and it's just me cutting wood. So, our two pieces here that we have, and I also went ahead and cut the uh, pencil. Uh, this piece here is going to actually go along the bottom here, but we need to go ahead and trim that. So, I'm just going to do a quick and easy estimate where I need to cut with the pencil here. Which, if you can see here, I marked the pencil line, which is going to go all the way across. And we're going to have to cut right along there. But due to time, we'll just pretend that I did. And we end up getting a piece that looks like that. The next thing we have to do is on the back here, we need to drill the hole where the stand's going to go. And I've already marked where it's going to be. It's going to be in the middle between the two sides, which is about one and a half inches, seeing that it's three inches wide, and I went about a half inch up. So again, we'll just drill the five thirty second hole right there, about halfway down, and we'll go on to the next step after that. Okay, now that we have all these pieces pretty much good to go, we just got to put it back together. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the glue, which I found right here. I'm going to 
open it up. Maybe. And we're gonna fill some some glue into here. And then we're gonna just stick that in there. You have some glue that comes out, you can, you know, just wipe it off or just leave it there however you want. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue on the the baits, which again you just put some glue on the end here. And we're gonna put it on there. And we're gonna let that dry. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that pencil that we originally had. And we're actually gonna remove the eraser. And it can be a little bit of a pain to do, but you have to give a little bit of a wiggle. Sometimes. Okay, well, there's part of it. Uh, if you get the other part out, I may have to pause this to kind of pry it out. But if you have um, pliers, you can bend at it and pull it out. So give me a few minutes here and we'll, we'll get it out. All right, so I had to redo it because the eraser broke. But essentially you got to get the eraser out. And then you're going to get your box cutter. And you're going to cut it in half. Next, you're going to get glue. Uh, I'm using super glue because it's a little bit quicker to, to take. Um, but you can use the wood glue, Elmer's glue, hot glue, whatever you have laying around. You're going to put a little drop on the eraser here. Try not to get your fingers, otherwise you'll glue it. And then on the front side, you're going to put about middle way in on the stand part. And the same with the other one. And if it falls off, just pick it back up and put it back. And if it hasn't fully set yet, you gotta put it back in place. Alright, now you gotta do is just let it dry and we'll go from there. So this completes our project today. Um, if you so, so choose, you can go ahead and paint the, uh, the stand if you want or leave it the way it is depending on what material you used. Um, I painted this one over here as you can see in our little special love look. Um, just to show that you know it does actually work. You can put your phone on the stand. You can put it sideways. And if you're watching a movie, playing games, whatever you want on your desk, there you go. So thank you for watching.